Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create Proxmox containers. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is a container actually? A container is actually an alternative to uh, virtual machines that we create in Proxmox, okay? But the main difference between actually uh, containers and virtual machine is that the containers use the kernel of the host. So in our case, they use the kernel of Proxmox. In contradiction with the virtual machine, which they use their own host, okay? Or actually their own kernel from the operating system, okay? So you have to keep that in mind, okay? So containers use the kernel of the host actually, okay? And one most interesting thing here to note is they are light and also very fast, okay? But there are some restrictions when using containers. So the first one is actually you cannot use containers for operating system like Microsoft Windows or free PST. They are only used for Linux distributions, okay? And they are used from what we'll see later from a template, okay? So let's uh, create a container to show you the process from the beginning, okay? So the first thing that you have to do is to go to your storage. So here I have two, so I will choose the one where I want to store my container. So I click on it and I go to the container templates because as I told you when you want to create actually a container you must download the template corresponding to the Linux distribution that you want to create the container for okay so here there are a lot of options there is upload so you can upload a template that you can use it for creating a container you can download it from the URL or you can just click this button here and you will actually get the containers provided by Proxmox okay so here you can see a lot of uh, containers they are denoted LXCs because containers in the Linux world are called LXCs okay so here you can see that we have container from uh, Ubuntu, from Alma Linux, OpenSUSE, Fedora, Debian, and also Alpine, Arch Linux. So you have a wide choice of a template to choose from, okay? And also you have some special one called Turned Key Linux. These are actually up related uh, LXCs or containers. So here you'll find the name of them here, okay? So there is, for example, a container for a file server, for the GNU social, from different, different bugzilla, from different applications that you can use, and actually they are ready to use, okay? But here at the beginning, we'll choose just a simple uh, template that we gonna create a container from okay so for example let's choose this Debian standard Debian 12 standard and we gonna download it okay here we go so here the template is being downloaded to actually your storage okay so we will wait for the download to be completed so here as you can see the task is okay so the template has been downloaded and as you may actually see here in the status so the status is okay so these templates actually are the image that we're gonna use so here you can see debian 12 has been downloaded it's about uh, 127 megabytes okay so now that we have downloaded our template we can just go to our proxmox node and create a template or actually a container so i will click on this node here and here just at the most uh, up right corner you can find two buttons 
create the VM that we are familiar with, that we have used in order to create our virtual machines. But we have also a button create CT, so CT stands for container. So I will click on it in order to create a container. Here we go. So here, if you have multiple nodes, you can choose the node where you want to store your container. He sees this is the container ID here, okay? And here is the host name. So as we are using Debian based, so let's just call it Debian Debian 12, okay? And we keep the default uh, settings here. The resource pool so the resource pool if we have actually a pool we can just choose it from here but here i'm using standalone container here i have to provide the root password so let's make something very easy as a password for our root here we go we go next here we have to provide where we want actually where our the storage where we have downloaded our templates so as you can see here we have downloaded in this storage called storage so here all i have to do is to choose the template from which i want to build my container so we have downloaded debian uh, 12 so i have to choose it here we go next here we choose the disk size so we'll keep the default which is 8 gigabytes so as i told you the the containers are actually very lightweight and very fast so they don't consume a lot of resources so we go next here we choose the cpu so i will just stick with one core for the memory 512 actually it's pretty enough and here I will go to the network tab so you can choose to use a static IP address or DRCP so let's choose for example uh, static one so depending on the configuration of your network you can choose whatever you want so let's choose for example 175 okay and this is also the gateway so I'll choose the, the one for my router here. I guess everything is okay. I will go next. Here I have to provide CIDR notation, so slash 24. Here we go. For DNS, you can use just uh, the Google DNS, or if you have uh, a DNS in your network, you can just input here the IP address. Here we go, next. So this is the final table where you have a summary of your, the configuration of your container. Okay, so I'll click finish. Here we go, you can see the input here or the output for creating your container here. So we will wait for the task to finish. Here we go, the task is okay, so we are ready. So let's uh, verify that. So here at the left, you can see it has created our container, which has an ID 112, okay? And you can distinguish between, uh, as the icon here, you can distinguish between virtual machine, which has an icon as a screen, and the containers, which has a cube as an icon, okay? So I will click just on this Debian container and I can just start it. Here we go. So our container now is starting and we can go to each console. So you can go from here or from here as you want in order to see. And you can see because it's very fast, very lightweight, we have already the login prompt. So we provided here the credentials that we have uh, actually input during creation I hope I'm not mistaken here so let's repeat it once again here we go we are in okay 
so you can see how easy it is to launch our container and how fast it was also during the creation okay so as I told you the main difference between containers and uh, actually virtual machine is that containers use the kernel of the host so let's go for the host and see its uh, kernel version so I will go to the PV here to the shell and let's use the command uname-a to get the version of the kernel so here I'm using for the proxmox 5.15.102 so let's return back to our uh, container and do the same command minus a so you can see that actually we have the same kernel as the host because simply the containers use the kernel of the host okay and everything is running so we can verify of course the IP address that we have configured the during the creation here we go that 175 okay you can even try to ping the Google DNS and it's working so you have actually running LXC container okay so that was just a brief video to show you how easy it is to create containers on Proxmox, okay? As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye!